What a mess. What have I gotten myself into now? As you can see, we are building a playground for my son. This project all started on Amazon where I found this kit from a company called Kodiak and they provide you all the hardware and screws and connectors, even some swings and some other things for your playground set. That being said, lumber is not included. It did come with a T30 torque screw, but I bought another one just in case that one went bad. Let me walk you through the lumber real fast and then we'll start the process. The package cost from Kodiak was around $200. And of course the lumber here was an additional, almost a thousand dollars. Now you can see in the back here, I did opt for some Trek decking. That's not part of the original plans, but I swapped out some of the deck boards for Trek because well, I wanted no splinters and I wanted it to last a the little cool thing about the directions, it does have a cut diagram. So if you buy everything exactly like they say, they will give you all the different dimensions and how to cut the different things so you can have almost a foolproof installation. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. In this video, we're gonna put together this swing set. So let's get started. In surveying where I want this, this was the flattest part of the ground of an area where it made sense. So I'm gonna build this and then afterwards, I'm gonna put like a mulch bed down, but right now this is where I'm going to build it. So I've just finished mowing this area nice and short to get it be a good start. So let me go set up my tool bench, we'll start the cutting and move on to step one. There are quite a few of these connectors to put together. So I'm just gonna show it to you right here and I'm doing the same type of thing as I'm installing them. First things first, you need to locate where it says top. See how it says top right there? So that's, well, the top. after that, you find the corresponding piece and this is now the top. I couldn't find anywhere where it said top on these ones, but this is the top. So you actually put that inside the first one slide it down and the holes actually correspond. So these holes right here correspond to the holes there and that's how you're going to screw it together. And the bottom part just goes on the bottom. Now what you will actually have here is you'll have a four by four going up this way and you have a place for a four by four to go through that way. Step one, we are actually setting up figure one. Okay, so it's one of the sides of the playground. So what I need is I need two four by fours by 96, so that's eight feet long. Then of course I need four of those brackets that we already showed you how to put together. To make this easy for myself, I actually have both of my four by fours lined up next to each other and they are flush on both ends. So my first measurement is to measure up 86 inches or then I would go down 10 and that's where I'm marking the top of my first bracket. So I have my speed square right here to mark my line. With my lines marked, I can go across both boards and now I have the same mark on each just so I can keep them level. I did the same thing at the bottom except here I measured up 47 inches and drew my line. And so I have both of my lines drawn now to put my clamps together. So to put on our first set of brackets, they want us to use the two inch lag screw. And for convenience purposes, they actually put an exact size replica inside of the manual. I can't get it to stay there, but anyway, so therefore if you, can't figure out which one it is, just measure it up with what's there. We're only putting two screws in, one through this hole, this one on each side, as for right now. I'll show you how that looks like on the side. All right, so we're using their driver bit, putting that through and tightening it down. Now we're getting to the end of figure one. So I have it laid out on some sawhorses in the orientation that the four by fours look like in the direction. So I have both of these up and then in the middle, they're facing in towards each other. I have two two by fours. One of them is right here at the top and the other one's right there at the middle. They're both four feet long. And of course, at the end, that's a deck board that goes all the way across. So what I'm gonna do now is screw it in. In the two by fours, I'm actually having to use screws that I purchased myself, didn't come as part of the kit. They recommend two and a half inches. I actually did three inch ones. So I'll put three on each side. So that's six total. And then six more, of course, on the top. And the bottom ones, I'm actually using their screws that they included, the little two inch ones we've been using. A couple things I'm doing here in the process is one, I'm checking for square and that's why I have my speed square. I'm also pre-drilling the holes. This wood was pretty dry and I don't want to split it. I started screwing in here and I saw it start to split. So I'm actually just gonna pre-drill these. Here's what it looks like on the bottom. I've squared it up, making sure everything is nice and flush in the bottom and the sides. I pre-drilled all these holes because I started screwing and I noticed that the wood started to split, so I pre-drilled. One of the included bolts go here. That's That came with the kit. These ones are ones that I had to purchase. They recommended putting four. I've always been a rule of thumb. This is a six inch board, then you put in three long, so every one every two inches. So. 
I'll screw these in and then I'll move up to the upper area. 30 minutes later, frame one is done and set on the ground. Now time to move on to frame number two. We have frame two here. Now these are two four by fours that are both 10 feet long. And so the bottom is down that way. So I measured up 59 inches and drew a line and up 47 inches and drew a line. Let's put on our first set of brackets. I don't know if you can see right there, it says top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide that on here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one, find the word top, slide it on here. Now I'm gonna slide them all the way down to the other end where my line where it's marked 59 inches. Now that we're slid all the way down, we can take this piece, slide it under, line up the two screws, make sure we're still lined up here and screw it in. I'm gonna do that for here and here. Just like before, we're gonna be using the two inch lag screw that came with the kit. The clamps are installed on frame two. Let's set this up to install the boards to go across. Here is frame two set up and ready to be screwed in. The top two by fours that you see here are 45 inches long and you're gonna set them in about an inch and a half. The other two deck boards are exactly four feet long. So just like before at the bottom, I'm gonna put the six screws and the one lag and then I'm gonna come up to the next deck board and put six screws on each side, and these ones are only gonna call for three. Now, if I start at the bottom, the bottom deck board just starts flush at the bottom, then I'm gonna come up 54 and a half inches for that second board, then of course I'm gonna come up to 96 inches for this board, and then all the way up to 117 inches for this last board, just like the directions say. How exciting frame two is done. Took another 30 minutes, so now we're about an hour into this as far as labor. Now I'm gonna start on to frame three, and after frame three, we can actually stand this thing up. So the process right here is the same. I'm just putting the two clamps at 49 inches and then the two lower ones at 47 inches, just making sure they're going in the correct orientation. I'm actually gonna turn my pieces in a minute so I can put those ones in. I just wanted to show you it's the same as in frame two. Frame three was pretty easy and it really looked a lot like frame two, except there's one less board and that's about it. So just follow the directions, mark up your lines, assemble it, and we're done. Now let's go put this structure up. As we're getting ready to install this, I had some help and I put this eight foot piece across there. You can see that we had a few support braces just to keep this up. And until I get the bottom pieces in, I'm gonna leave those there. And then we're gonna attach frame two to well frame one but this is what the process is looking i am going to use some landscaping fabric i was going to roll it long ways like it is now but i'm end up going to be turning it because it doesn't quite go from side to side i just want to show you how we're supporting this as we go up all right the start of day two and i've realized we're facing the wrong direction i actually should have the shorter part over here on this side because the swing set's going to come off this end so before we start we're actually going to have to turn the whole unit all right, we are now on to figure five. We have our structure set up. Now we're gonna have the eight foot four by fours that are outlined right here in the manual and install those. You're also gonna need some lag screws that came with the system to make sure they're held into place. This is definitely a team lift part. Can't try it by yourself. Here are the connectors we're gonna be sticking the four by four through. And as you can see, we haven't screwed these in yet. So they are a little bit flexible in case you have difficulty putting it through. Once we're gonna get in, we're gonna screw it in down here and most likely putting in one in, in through the sides. As you can see on each part, we put two on the bottom and two on the top. Now that we're done with that step, you can see these two four by four posts sticking out. Now it's time to get frame three and install it right here on the end. The next step, was to cut your deck board. So this one here at the beginning is supposed to be 41 inches and you will have this gap. And I didn't like that at first, but I read ahead and I think there's gonna be a wall going here, so that'll be covered. The rest of these are 48 inches long. I just have these boards sitting there. I am gonna come screw them in place later, but I wanted to show you something I did that is not part of the actual plans. I ended up building an inner structure here to put another two by four as support. Later on, you're supposed to put a piece of board across. I just didn't like it. So I wanted to put one that's solid because eventually I'm going to want to get up here. I just wanted to show you something else that I did here. I'm going to be going to the store and getting some black screws that go with these Trek decking on um, boards. And when I get them, I'll put them down until that time. They're just going to sit here loose. I just wanted to show you the finished floor, what the Trek decking looks. I know it's a little more expensive, but I definitely like the end result. Of course, this is the next step where you're supposed to put that two by four on its side, about 15 inches from each side. And I didn't really like that. And that's why I built my structure, but you're supposed to put it there and then screw from the top. All right, now we cut two of these pieces, 96 inches across and span the three 
pieces and therefore it ties it together. Do this on both sides. Of course, to tie it all together, we're gonna cut two by fours, 47 inches long, and they screw right in here. And of course, they're gonna hold the deck boards right in place. This is actually gonna serve as um, an outside part when we're gonna put our wall, but put that in now. Next step is to cut our four by fours on each side. I should say that after every step, make sure you check for square. I've been doing that. So this should be 48 inches from one side to the other, but always measure. All right, so the next step is to put your decking board on the new deck we just built. Here are the four by fours we put in. Of course, just like before, I put my own level of support underneath just because I wanted it a little stronger. After our decking board, we put this wood that goes across the back just for support. You can see that I have one of the decking boards up. I'm gonna end up having to rip it because it didn't fit in the place. Then we install this piece of goes across the top and then one across the other side there. We're also going to put one here. This is 14 and 5 eighths inches, I think. We're going to put another one over here as well. And that's going to be where you can put your ladder or a slide. We just installed this four by four. It's 48 inches long. And that's what's going to hold the four by six that will hold our swings. Now we are going to go mark up the four by six so we could drill our holes for our swings to be installed. We measured the four by six as per the instructions. They told us how far to put our marks. And so now we're just drilling through the four by six. Once we're done with this, we can actually install this beam and then we can put our swing bolts through these holes. As you're going through these holes, it's important to go down a little bit and come back up to let the sawdust come out. Therefore your bit doesn't get overworked. Now we're screwing in the A-frame attachment, and what we have to do is we have to make sure we line this side up with the edge of the board. And once we get this piece installed, we are gonna put the other one in so it's lined up as well. They did not include screws for this one. I think they should have used the lag bolt, but they had us just using our regular screws, so that's what we're we doing. screwed it in on this side, and what I've noticed is the company drills a lot of the holes close to the edge of the wood and well they don't use some of that real estate over there i fear is over time that could split what we're gonna do now is we're gonna flip it over and put the other bracket on the other side and then stand this up this is what it looks like completely put together now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our ladder to hold the four by six in place and then we'll slide this underneath and start bolting it in how exciting, we right now have the A-frame balancing there and it's keeping the four by six over here. Nothing screwed in just yet. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna screw in the bracket to the four by six and use the T-nuts and the bolt that goes through. And then we're gonna attach this all to the actual play structure itself. Let's take a closer look. So here are our deck screws that held it initially in place. And then we took this bolt, went through with the washer and on the top, there's a T-nut. And as we tighten it, it just brought it into place. Here we are at the end of day two. We're about six working hours in. So clearly if we wanted to work longer, we could have. We're just taking it easy. Even though we're not finished just for fun, we installed the swings and all it really was was putting the bolt up and through and tightening it down from the top just so we can have a little fun with it as we continue to build. It's time to install the safety walls across. These are just deck boards and this is 48 inches tall. There was not really any direction how much to space it, so I just did the math and a two inch space in between each of those was perfect for me. So I'm gonna go wrap some more of the walls. Now, not all the walls will be 48 inches tall, some will be taller. So as you're doing this, just make sure you're measuring the top to the bottom. I'm gonna be making some different openings than the directions because I'm gonna be doing some different things down the road. But this is the next step, making sure you put your safety walls up. Next, we're gonna be moving on to figure 27, which is building our A-frame for our roof line. Even though this came with a tarp that you can use as a roof for the different kits, we are gonna build the roof that came with this particular set of plans. First step you do is build two of these for either side. And then of course we are gonna put the wood that goes across. These two um, are 54 inches long and they're just the deck boards. And then we can go install it onto the roof and then put the rest of the deck boards on for the roof. Our A-frame roof is ready to be installed. They want you to just put the top two boards across, I guess probably because it's gonna get too heavy. And then we're gonna go put it up and put the rest of the boards on. It does look pretty cool up there, but it was sure difficult to lift. Definitely something you need a team. I'm gonna go put up the rest of the roof boards before the storm rolls in. As far as the kit is concerned, 
I'm done. You can see my little giant over here on the right. I just finished putting up those last few boards on the roof to make it all nice and complete. I wanted to show you some of these boards right here. I didn't put all of those up that the kit recommended because I'm going to be doing some other different things. Like I've said, I want to put a slide and stairs and a fireman's pole. That'll all be in a different video, but I at least wanted to show you what those vertical boards looked like installed. Here's the swing area. And then of course there's that monkey bar in the middle. Now these would not have been as close as they are. I ended up tweaking a little bit of the kit directions by adding this additional A-frame. The reason I added this A-frame is when I was swinging or another adult was swinging, I noticed this entire house was moving back and forth. So I just shimmied everything over, put the A-frame in, and now it's really solid. Of course, I'm not gonna be leaving these three pieces this close together, they are way too close. What I'm end up doing is I'm gonna be moving the monkey bar to another location, but that's for a different video when I'm gonna show you the addition and how I expanded on this project. I wasn't really a fan of these adapters not having additional fasteners. So I actually went and bought a box of structural screws. They're three inch screws. And I put two in every single one of these just so I had that added support. After it's all said and done, I noticed that the structure is still a little wobbly. Like if you push on it, you can still rock it a little bit. I'm glad I put the extra fasteners in um, just to support it, but it is a little wobbly The still. company sells like a helix screw or a screw that you can put into the ground and attach it to the unit, but that's mainly for tipping and not necessarily for structural support. With the different things that I'll be adding, like, oop, look, a future video, you're going to see that fireman's pole go in, and I'll be putting those into the ground, some of it into cement, some of it into other products products and that I'm hoping will create additional support. In this video, we're putting together a DIY swing set or play set from a company called Kodiak. In the kit, I came with directions for three different types of structures I could build, a lot of the hardware plus a couple of swings and that's pretty cool. I knew that the lumber was not included clearly for the $200 price point, plus it tells you the lumber not included. However, I did think that all the screws were included, so on top of the almost $1,000 in lumber I had to buy, I spent another $300 just in screws. That's a lot to think about. I will say, the directions were really easy to follow, and each step had a nicely done illustration where, well, it was really easy just to see what you do. So what didn't I like about it? You know what? I talked about the whole set design and put it together, it was really easy. I didn't like how it was wobbly and certain parts I actually had to go out and purchase other materials just to make sure it was more stable. Also, as I mentioned before, it didn't come with all the screws. That's just definitely something that I would have liked to have seen because all of those little brackets had different screw holes and to make this thing even more stable, you've got to fill the screw holes in with a structural screw. In the end, you have the beginning of a really cool play structure, and there are a lot of different accessories you can add. If this is something that interests you, I will link a link to the kit down below. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day. Because I like doing sneak peeks, here's an addition that I put off the back of the play structure. This will also be featured in a future video. I just wanted you to see it. And those brackets that you see up here, I actually bought a four pack, so I got to use those here as well. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire walkthrough where we built a playhouse. Very cool stuff. I couldn't have done it without my little giant. And I also reviewed that. I'm going to link that review right up here. And I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at this review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.